So this is from the gray zone, okay? This is from the lovely, lovely Aaron Matei. Again, another legend. So the United States refuses to extradite CIA agent who killed UK teen Harry Dunn. Okay. So let me give you just a very brief summary of what happened. At this US military base in the United Kingdom, uh, one of the people who works there, this woman, she leaves the base in her car and she drives on the wrong side of the fucking road, right? Because in the UK, they drive on the left side, right? It's not like in America. They drive on the other side of the road. And she had apparently forgotten that. And, w and what happens? She killed a motorcyclist, Harry Dunn. Okay? She killed him. That's him, Harry Dunn. All right? And the worst part, you know what happened? He didn't even die instantly. The, the, the poor bastard, he was in hospital the entire day and then he passed away at night. God, just fucking heartbreaking. And, and it was a hit and run. It was a hit and run. She immediately left. She flew back to the United States. And she claimed that she had diplomatic immunity. Okay, so just briefly, for those of you who don't know what diplomatic immunity is, this is something that they started in the Cold War so that uh, the Russians, uh, you know, the Soviets couldn't just randomly arrest uh, diplomats and accuse them of being spies and vice versa, right? So if you have diplomatic immunity, they can't search your car, you have special plates, uh, they can't stop you, they can't arrest you. Uh, I think o only under very extreme circumstances can they actually arrest you. What they do is that if you commit a crime, they'll just send a, a formal a letter, a, a complaint to the embassy. So it's not like you can just do whatever you like. You'll most likely get fired if you, if you fool around. But um, she claimed she had diplomatic immunity. She fled to the United States. And um, ha Harry Dunn's family, they started a campaign, right? To, to get justice for their son. And, I mean, the UK government did nothing. They're like, yeah, well, you know, we, we just let her leave. We just let her leave because, you know, she, she, she has diplomatic immunity because of her husband and all this stuff. And then, Don, so, so Harry Dunn, his parents, the Dunn family, and, and their lawyer, they go, to, they go to the United States to work on this campaign. And then all of a sudden, Donald Trump invites them to the White House. And he tries to bribe them. I'm not kidding. He told them the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, is, is on standby. Meaning, we'll write you a check. And he also said that the woman who killed Harry, okay, what's her name again? This, this scumbag? Sackaloose. Sackaloose fled the UK on a US military plane in September. But recently, a new twist emerged. Sackaloose was not the wife of a diplomat, as the US claimed, but in fact a CIA operative. Ah, these motherfuckers. So, the UK government and the US government both lied to Harry Dunn's family. They let her get away with murder, and now they won't extradite her. But they want to extradite Julian Assange. I mean, th this is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. The fucking lies, not to mention the heartbreak. I mean, they, they, they lost their son. And, and just, it's unbelievable. It really is. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I really don't even know what to say. I'm so disgusted. I really am. Like, you, you have evidence, a confession that she killed someone because she's a moron. She admits to doing it. We, we all know she did it. And the United States won't extradite her. 
Yet the United States wants the UK to extradite Julian Assange, who's never even been to the United States. So they can jail him for who knows how many hundreds of years for stuff he didn't do. Just to make an example out of him because he exposed US imperialism and their war crimes. What is this nonsense, man? What is this nonsense? What is this double standard bullshit? Not to mention that, I don't know if you've heard of the Hague Act. I think I mentioned it once before. Essentially, the United States passed a law. Congress passed a law. I'm not kidding. Which says that if an American is ever tried at the ICC, at the International Criminal Court for war crimes, they will go and invade the Netherlands to rescue this person. Like, who gave you the right to do anything outside of your goddamn country? <laughs> this is insane. This is absolutely insane. And so once again, we see here an example of, I mean, I don't even know what to call this. This is just evil. This is absolutely evil. So th this is a very good interview. Um, Aaron Mate interviews uh, the Dunn family's lawyer. Uh, I'll link it below. Please go and watch it. It's good stuff, answers all the questions. And, and I mean, th this is just, you know, I I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you, have if you have diplomatic immunity, you can't murder people. You, you can't do that. If you are drunk driving, if you drive on the wrong side of the road, you kill someone, they can arrest you. It doesn't matter if you have diplomatic immunity or not. This is horseshit. And the UK government covered for that bitch. This is, this is disgusting. What the fuck? Also, what she was claiming before, by the way, the original claim, which was like, oh, my husband is a diplomat, and so I have diplomatic immunity. First of all, listen to me. Your kids only have diplomatic immunity until the age of 18, okay? Your husband himself cannot get away with murder, never mind you, okay? This, this is bullshit. This is just nuts. Also, what is she doing? Why is she driving on the wrong side of the road? How, oh God, how careless, I'm just, I'm, it's getting me angry. So, so in, anyway, I just wanted to cover that quickly. And it's really upsetting. I can't imagine what that family is going through, the Dunn family, you know, losing their son. Allah yirhamo. So, let me take a look at what y'all doing. Hello, hello, hello. Jack says, have step away, but, but be listening. Fantastic coverage. Thank you very much, Jack. I really appreciate it. Um, for parking tickets. What's for parking, parking tickets? Anas Sakulas. Oh, let, me, let me just add that again. Because... Uh, I knew Sakulas is her last name, but um, Anna Sakulas, that's the name of the scumbag who killed Harry Dunn, head-on collision because she was driving on the wrong side of the road, and he, he died painfully. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. You know, once again, the U.S. just gets away what, with whatever the fuck they like. And everybody else bends the knee. It's disgusting. Why is she so important anyway? And, and Trump trying to buy them off. I mean, that's just disgusting. <laughs> 